Now that you've found your total singing range, let's think about speaking range. Average speaking range can affect a person's vocal quality. Too low, and a voice might fry. Too high, and a voice might sound breathy. Optimal speaking pitch range can encourage ease and longevity. A first step in finding the best pitch range for speaking is to measure current averages. As I've been speaking, you've been watching my voice being analyzed by a sound spectrograph. It is measuring pitch, overtones, and loudness. Of course, the first thing to do if you are concerned about your speaking pitch is to visit your ENT or meet with a speech language pathologist. They're specially trained to help. If you're just curious about your average speaking pitch, then with the permission of your parents, there are apps you can download such as the Vocal Pitch Monitor for Android or SingScope for iPhones. More often than not, we tend to speak too low rather than too high. So an easy check is to grab your total singing range measurements. And if you're hovering near the lowest note in your singing range, that may be too low to sustain for a full day of speaking. Try supporting your voice with breath and allowing it to resonate a little bit higher. Whether your focus is singing or speaking, the music department and the speech and hearing sciences department at UNM wish you a happy World Voice Day 2020. Thank you so much for letting us be part of your celebration.